Christine from Unlikely Nest and I'm going to show you how to make the ears of the rabbit. So I have here all of my pieces for my ear. I have here my, the outside piece of my ear in my main fabric. I have my inner ear in contrast fabric and I have the outside of the inner ear in my main fabric. And I have a piece of interfacing. Um, this is horse. This is lightweight horsehair canvas, um, sew-in interfacing. And you may have, in a previous step, basted this to the back of your inner ear piece, um, which I didn't do. But um, in any case, uh, to start off, I am going to um, mark the seam allowances on my pieces on my ears. So here you can see the seam allowance is marked on the pattern piece and I'm just going to mark that here. I'm using pencil but ideally um, a fabric marker would be great. So the pencil works very well on this lightweight fabric. Um, and I'm also going to mark the seam allowance on the bottom of the outside ear. This is just a guide for sewing. I find that when I'm sewing things that are pointy, um, I like to have a reference for where that point goes. Okay, so now I have the interfacing behind on the back side of my fabric. And this is the front side of my inner ear. And then I'm going to line up the right side of my outer ear on the right side of my inner ear. So I'm gonna just gonna use a pin to go through the point there and line that up with the point on the inner ear. And that will be the start of my pinning of the seam. And I'm going to line up these seam allowances here along the right hand side of my ear. I'm just going to pin that right down. So now I'm going to sew from the point down to the wide part at the base of the ear. So now you can see that that's attached. And this is forming the outer side of my ear. And then in order to do the other side, to release the tension here, I'm just going to clip this right just to the point of the stitching. And that will allow me to bring this edge around to the side. And then I could start pinning the other side. Now I'm going to sew this um, from the point to the base. So now I should have a nice point on my ears, and this is the inner ear. And now I'm going to put the outer ear piece right side together. And then I'll just sew that around the edges.
So now that I've sewn all the way around, I'm just gonna trim my seam allowances and my point. So I'm gonna clip this point right there and trim the seam allowances to one eighth of an inch. And then I can turn my ear right side out. So sometimes if I have a chopstick, I don't have one right now. Just use the tip of this pen to gently, I don't want to poke a hole in it, but gently encourage that point out. And there I have an ear.